G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 47 in Train Valley 2. This one's called Radio Telescope Fast, so to 5 star this one we have to do it in 24 and a half minutes. We can't allow any trains to arrive at the wrong station, and we can't destroy any track tiles. So, we have three different uh, sets of workers here. These guys want copper ingots and machine tools. This guy wants uh, the steel plates and the microchips, and this guy wants the wire, but also can accept these ones. Um, that took me a little while to, to realise um, and does sort of catch you up early. I did find that this level, more than others, really sort of plays on the exploits of what technically counts uh, for, for game design. So it, uh, it's a sort of weird way to describe it, but uh, it'll make sense once we sort of go along, because I found myself very stumped in trying to figure out some of these things, and, and it's been a long while trying to work out this level. So we won't worry about connecting this guy to anything yet. You can see he's only currently got two workers there anyway, so we can't really start moving, and there's nothing nearby him anyway. So um, what we'll do is just start working on our other two stations, and our main focus is going to be on this guy over here, because uh, the first thing we really need to do is get um, him going. So what we'll do is we'll just start off by getting some um, electricity shooting through. We'll do enough to make him make those 12. Now with the extra money that we're getting here, uh, what we'll do is just start to build some of over here. So this is all sort of in, in preparation to get this guy in the area. So if we bring him up, um, See, what we can do is build a tunnel through here, once we've got the money available. Actually, we won't worry about that just yet. Uh, what we'll do... So we want to try and connect this guy over to um, uh, to that top set of stations. And the way we can do it is just by sort of trucking across the top of this hill. And straight down there, so we'll just stop there. We'll start moving these guys down. Because if we can connect there, then we can send 12 of these up there. So it's another sort of second level guys that are um, going to make us some nice quick money. There we go. So we can just make that connection. And we can send 12 guys up. You can sort of see that generally with the levels where you've got one thing after another, there's a chance that they will sort of update themselves. So our aim is to get these 18 sort of in there and going. Um, so we've got six currently working on over here. We've got the next six coming there. We just want to get some um, workers down here to make sure that they'll uh, keep producing. So we're making some nice quick money too. So... Uh, we will make that in there, we'll just pause again, one step up, and connect the two of them, uh, and then swing this guy around, and join him as well, so what we can do is use these 14 guys to go send them over there.
I just sent some guys over just to have them at least there while the electricity is flowing. Do want to try and keep this as straight as possible, just for neatness sake. There we go. So now what we can do is spend um, another 14 of these and get them down there. send what we've got because we do sort of want to deal in a group of 14 of those so there's no point in um, faffing about with just sending 12 over. Alright and what we'll do is we'll send these 12 back. Now the trickiest thing I've found in this level is trying to work out how to connect this half of the map to this half because you still need electricity over here. And I spent, I would say an hour trying to work this one out. Um, you, so the thing to sort of, I guess, realize with this is the, um, The trick is that all that you need for electricity to work is for two lines to touch. They don't necessarily have to have trains be able to run on them, so it's actually alright if the, tr the lines are just crisscrossing. And in the state that the um, satellite will be in in this uh, next phase, that's about as good as you can ask for. So, um, we'll get that building in just a second. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to get this guy down here, um, and we may as well have this ready to uh, to accept electricity as well if we can. So, uh, whenever we get the chance to have electricity flowing through, we want to make sure it's all available over here. So, what I'm going to do as well is just buy one of my um, seven-seater trains because with this one, uh, if you're paying for thirty-five thousand, you're getting the amount that'll fit on a train. So, you're only getting six if you have a uh, six-seater train you're getting seven if you have a seven-seater train, so it is well worth paying for that, uh, the privilege of a, a longer one. So, what we can do um, to get electricity into this side of the map is, if we build a bridge here, and then build a bridge here, we'll connect the two of them. There we go, and join them to here. Uh, and then what we'll do is just run this down across there and have this guy just... Oops, sorry, am I getting the wrong one? There we go, just have that guy swing across there. So now you can see those two tracks are touching um, and that's giving electricity to the rest of the map, but um, it doesn't actually... Um, it, we can't actually send trains across it, so that's what I sort of meant earlier when I said they're sort of exploiting the way that, uh, <laughs> that the game works. So, um, once this guy arrives, give us a bit more money, and we can pay for that one. So we'll send him down and around. So we are starting to make this over here. I mean, that's just sort of like a byproduct of, of where we're currently at. Um, we'll take it. And I will just send some more guys down here just for, for good measure with it. do next is just buy that sand when we, when we have it available. And we also want to have a look at this. I 
There we go. So we can get um, what we want to send over here. So we're going to need our engineers over here, which we've almost got enough of. Um, I kind of want sand too, so we do want to just get that rolling as soon as possible. We'll send this guy back. Just move this guy on his way back too as well, just to get the money coming in. Because with these sort of guys here, we've only given them 14 uh, worth of sort of stock, so it doesn't matter if um, if what sort of like size of trains we're sending, uh, because there's only so many um, guys that we can actually send i.e. 14. I'm just making sure I'm avoiding that 7-seater train because it would run into the back of everyone else here. That's probably enough of a chase down lead for him. So we got all those guys going down, um, and we can now buy this guy. Just pause for a second while we get him going, and we'll start to send some workers his way once we get the available trains. Um, we'll send some guys just down here as well, and we'll follow these guys up with some workers. Okay, now we'll just start to upgrade all of our trains to uh, the next level. I'll send 14 down here. send uh, these guys around and up here. Okay, and once he's out of the way, we'll send the last 14 of these down as well. Uh, and then we will send 21 of these guys down. And we do actually need to get a bit more down here too, because we need 18 of those. So because we don't want to waste uh, anything, what we'll do is we'll wait till um, we have the first four of these made and then we'll send them straight down here. There we go. So I'll send these four down. 
Uh, we'll also then want to send them another stash of... Oh, we need some more engineers too, we'll get them building. We'll send these guys down to the wire as well. going with him. We might just have to wait to see what happens once uh, this builds out. Oh, he's going the wrong way. While we're killing time, we might just send some guys some places just for just in case. Okay, so I expect that this will just change up the middle of the map a little bit more. That'll allow us to get this guy and. Uh, this guy sort of connected. There we go. Okay, so... Let's have a look now what we can do to get these guys joining our... the rest of our map. So it looks like that we can get... swing in here... and come around here... Get this guy joined, uh, and then I would say looks like something similar for uh, this guy. I'm gonna come around here. We'll join him on there. There we go. Okay. So. What we now need is to get 14 of everything over to that guy. And then we need another 14 wire uh, for this guy. So what we'll start with is we'll start by moving what we need to this guy. And we'll start with that wire just to get it out of the way. And we can get our next lot of wire coming over and, and being ready to manufacture. So this needs to go this way. This way is straight. And then through there. And then we'll send 
this guy up and around so he can have 14 from here. Then once this is out of the way, I will send these guys just around here. We'll follow up those trains with 14 guys from this one. We'll then send seven polymers down this way too. And then once we've got trains arriving, we'll send more polymers. Then those guys. And then we'll send these guys. Find another train. Send these guys down to make us electricity. And then we'll send guys from down here. Just make sure they go on the right path. Yep, that's going to be the last ones over there. Now we just wait. So we have 24 minutes. So even though this manufacturing is pretty slow, we'll uh, should have plenty of time. Um, we'll send. I'll just send these guys home first, just to get someone moving. And we'll send these guys. finish it off with these guys. There we go, five stars. Uh, it is definitely a trickier one to figure out how you're meant to approach it than, than I think once you know how to, to execute it. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. If you did find a, a different strategy for that one, I would definitely love to hear about it because like I said, that one took me a long while to, to work out. Um, but yeah, as always, until next time, I'll catch you later. See ya.